Yeah. On that. Okay. Mm-hmm. So everybody's <laughs> rustling paper and and finding their seats and and moving consoles and there's hi. always stuff. I know, right? It's, it's it's a very it's a very busy busy thing getting a podcast going. Welcome to the Great Northern Sex Cast, Colleen Bertino. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Good morning. Hey, I'm Kelly Guest, and back is Megan Vaughn. Hey. Hello. Gosh, it's been way too long. I know. You guys were having so much fun without me. <laughs> well, Those episodes were so great. <laughs> you know, we've been we've been on a good run, yeah. I think. I hope um, I remember how to talk. <laughs> I, I think it'll be okay. <laughs> I think we'll, we'll know <laughs> momentarily. <laughs> um, so I got an email um, this week, it must have been yesterday, I guess, from Dr. Markey, okay. Dr. Markey Twist. Mm-hmm. And they are getting ready to do their public uh, sex, I can't remember what she called them again, sex speak. Or where you know where they invite yep. people just to come and talk about their issues, Ask questions and- yeah, and they they station all of these ver- people with all varying letters behind their name. So these are trained people at different levels, from PhD up, down, and sideways LMFT mm-hmm. to talk about this stuff with you, no cost, which is really cool. So she had said that they're they're setting the dates; they're going to come in February. Okay, so um, I'll be back in touch with them. But I was super excited because we love that stuff. I no, I am. I'm- after 36 years of being around this, I, I do know a few things, but I do have an American studies degree, so I understand the American psyche a little bit, <laughs> but uh, it's nice to have the folks that uh, have studied this and, 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 and in fact pioneered the study of this because right. there's still it's, there's still such a stigma to it. Getting funding and everything is difficult. Oh, so. yeah. I was, I was amazed when she was explaining her own um, progression into her specialty and how hard it was to go get certified, like how little, how few programs there were at that time. And now they're growing, of course, and she's heading one up at UW Stout, but really cool. Really cool. Uh, I'm very, very big in education. <laughs> Always have been. Yeah. I, think I, start, I think it started with my parents who just never gave us the option of not furthering our education to some extent. And so that was pretty cool. And to so and uh, and uh, although at this day and age, I keep asking my daughter if she wants to go into a trade because she's you know tiny, so she'd be a great plumber, electrician because she could sneak in to the little spaces. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But she doesn't like bugs, so oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that that pretty much deal breaker, de- total deal Absolute breaker, at this deal point. breaker. <laughs> and I don't blame her a bit. <laughs> I'm with her, guys. Um, I think it's. Appropriate that we mentioned VD, Valentine's Day. I didn't realize how absolutely close it was all of a sudden. <laughs> this morning, I was like, oh my God. Well, that's one of the reasons Megan has not been here, is that you, we mm-hmm. have to do the massive switch from Christmas to Valentine's immediately. And there were a couple of shifts that we had to fill. And so she was, you know, get, uh, you're getting folks trained in. And yeah. and uh, it's just, it's been, you know, fascinating. But the first uh, few weeks of the year, I think people are are, are already Valentine shopping. They are. They seem <laughs> a to lot of lingerie. already be shopping, planning ahead. <laughs> Good job, folks. Well, Valentine's is on a Tuesday, mm-hmm. right, this year. So I think it's going to be the weekend and it's going to be spread out over several days. I mean, there are Valentine purists that must go out to dinner or do something on that day. But I think almost like any other holiday, I mean, there's certain, 4th of July is the 4th of July and you got Labor Day and March, but there are a few things. I mean, Christmas has become like two weeks. People have multiple families and all that sort of stuff. Valentine's, I think people enjoy it, but I think they're getting less glued to the actual day. You know, there's expenses and everything like that, but they want to do something and they do it yeah. their own way. So at the weekend before, um, so I think it's going to be, you know, a, a much uh, easier, um, was there, you know, a uh, weekend for us versus mm-hmm. everyone must have their Valentine stuff. If Valentine's on a Friday or Saturday, for because sure. then it's right. insane. Oh, I it's, mean, just it's not insane. even fun. Just spread that VD all oh, over. Right. I agree. I agree. Okay, so I'm sorry, but Colleen's inner Italian was just going, and she's talking with her hands, and I watch, I love the manicure. I love the color. Oh, my God. Very nice nails. It's two different colors of shellac. Um, I did fake cool. nails for like 25 years because I got crappy nails, and then I ended up gardening and really messing through and getting a virus. No more fake nails, but I cannot give up my sparkle. It's really cool. I love the sparkle. You got some mm-hmm. good looking fingers there. We should take a picture and put it up on the site. Um, so yeah, so Valentine's Day and you guys are, um, you guys do well. I mean, this is this is like Christmas for fantasy gifts almost, really. It is really nice. And it's very intense because I mean, really, uh, like I said, Christmas may have a couple of weeks. Valentine's, it's getting spread out, but it's all before Valentine's. People do not go out for Valentine's that is for, so far, like on February 16th. Right. I mean, there is a deadline to, right. to that. Right. Well, you know, I, I think this is a good opportunity to do something. We haven't touched on this in a super long time. Let's talk about, quote unquote, 
the rules. And I say that with a smile on my face about things that when somebody decides to come into fantasy gifts to buy a gift for a partner, certain things that you want them to know or about, you know, hey, don't surprise anybody. Like, can, can you guys just kind of reiterate in, in the case no one's heard this before? I'll start a little bit. Well, surprises are good if you are regular fantasy gifts or anyone's customers. I mean, I mean, mind you, I would love for you to go shopping with me. That's how I pay my mortgage. But when you're talking about personal items, you don't generally just want to go unilaterally, you know, without any, you know, conversation beforehand about what you might want to have in your relationship. Um, so that said, if you've shot before, hi, come on in. Well, you know, saying we've looked at this before, we've looked at that before. What do you have? We, we own this, we own this. What do you think would be a nice compliment to it? You know, that's good. Uh, we uh, uh, sort of know what's, if you're going to, if, if you're going to go with lingerie, male or female lingerie, have an idea of sizes, search through some sizes and look through mm-hmm. because no matter what size I was when I worked in a store, and I've said this before, everyone's female partner is the same size as me. Mm-hmm. And then I say, well, I'm this height and this weight. And they go, oh, well, maybe she's bigger or small. You know, right, right. <laughs> yeah. So do do uh, do a little snooping for, mm-hmm. for for sizes, because we will ask if someone comes up with a variety of sizes. They're either planning, you know, they're they're, they're in the lifestyle, or they weren't paying attention to the sizes. So, sure. like, you've got two smalls here and a large. Is this what you want? Right, <laughs> right. You know, so take you know definitely take a good look at the sizes. Um, I don't do that. What, 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 yeah, Megan, you're saying yeah. the trenches I more. I, well, I guess my big thing is um, we talk, well, I suppose the number one rule is always remember when you're shopping at Fantasy Gifts that all sales are final on all intimate products. <laughs> I would like to put that out as the biggest rule. <laughs> I think that's fair. <laughs> but I think when, you know, we talk about the surprising and stuff, the big thing is I think do do a little research. Go on a reconnaissance mission. You know, have an idea because toys are not one size fits all. Someone very often, guys come up to me and they say, what is the best vibrator? And I'll say for clitoral stimulation, for dual stimulation, for G-spot stimulation. Like there is no one magic toy. And at what point does the apoplectic deer and headlights thing pop up? Very quickly. Yeah. And then I come back and we start again and I, you know, (laughs) you can talk them through it, but have kind of an idea. Like if, You know that when you're having sex, you need to rub her clit to get off before she gets off. That means she likes clitoral stimulation, and it could be a safe bet to get her something that you can use together or on her own that is for clitoral stimulation. If you Mm -hmm. guys have discussed G-spot and she said, yeah, that G-spot, I don't know, it's kind of something I'm interested in trying or I've done it with myself and I really like it then look, kind of look at a G-spot toy. I think having a bit of an understanding of what your partner likes will really help us focus what's going to be the best for her or him. Yeah, the same thing, because not not everyone might be, I mean, we have a lot of wonderful uh, prostate toys. And, you know, stimulating the prostate and doing all that is great for your overall health not just your not just the <laughs> fun of it but if you're never brought home a prostate toy or an anal toy for someone i mean you just you cannot surprise them with that so you definitely want to talk about what what is i mean yes the end goal is a good time but what exactly is the <laughs> your end goal of the toy okay right. i got i got a question for you okay so we've had my partner and, and me we have had um you know, some different conversations and his, to your point, he's like, I'll try anything. (laughs) Like, I mean, I don't know about for the guy anal so much, but I think a a prostate toy, he'd be like, well, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if I went in and just said, we don't know what we're doing. uh, Can you guys help me find one that's kind of safe? Would that be something that's within the realm of Definitely, definitely. Yeah. because we have talked about. There it. are starter. Mm-hmm. There are. I mean, almost every item has what we we carry, a, a, like a, a starter item, and then beginner, and, and intermediate, beginner, like yes. a Pinto Don't. through a Rolls Royce. <laughs> yeah, but they even, all get you there. But what's the style you want it to be in? You know, yeah, and, and they're <laughs> just designed of differently. Yeah, I mean, there's different sizes. Different. There's just you look at something, and some things are just 
they're going to do the same thing, but one may be more intimidating to someone. One may be more welcoming to another person. Okay. So you got to realize where someone is, is going on this. I mean, uh, we have the uh, rocks off in the narrow lines, which are beautifully non-gender packaged. You know what I mean? So they're not intimidating to someone who is straight or not intimidating to someone who's uh, gay or someone who doesn't select. And so Say, a, say those lines again because they went by so quick I didn't catch them. A, a narrows? Or, yeah, and uh, rocks off. Okay. And what it is, you need to know, because we have a line of sports sheets toys at a few stores called Man Bound. And they're made with, you know, and they're made for a larger frame. But the packaging um, is, has guys on it. Mm-hmm. And we've had a hard time getting um, heterosexual couples to buy this product, even though they may be larger sized. Right. Uh, we're, I mean, we're we're very close to just taking everything out of the packaging and hanging it on the wall because right, they That's want big reinforced, um, double stitched, really nice cuffs. But there's a guy, two, you know, naked but not showing everything, men on the package, and one's cuffing up the other. So suddenly, that makes the cuffs. Gay. It's a gay toy. Yeah. Right. Okay. Like they have some sort. I'm like, no, it's it's just like neoprene and fabric. I promise it does not have a sexual orientation. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it is the package. So like I said, you know, I mean, you're going to know your partner. And so mm-hmm. you're going to know. And so we, we try really hard to it. But sometimes it's just like, okay, we'll get the product in because we really believe in it. But, you know, we have a hard time folks getting past packaging. Mm-hmm. So really look past the packaging. I right. mean, if it's. In the stores, our buyers, and, and then the, and then the, when it's come in, they run it. We've really looked at it. And said, this is really a good product. We think folks would like it. Mm-hmm. And you know, and and it, there are uh, so many times when a perfectly reasonable toy can we we cannot pass, people cannot get past the packaging. Right, right. And not to say too, if people come in and they have no idea, they're like, I know that I want to spice up my sex life. I have no idea. How we can certainly offer oh, suggestions yeah. and say, you know, why don't you try start with this pheromone massage candle, you know, and then put down some rose petals and and try add some body top. You know, we can find ways to create an environment. The body wand line is good for that because mm-hmm. it's it's an inc- incredibly non intimidating whole body massager. Right, it really is. Right. It, so it doesn't it doesn't scream at you. Like I'm a sex toy. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, we've got a few. And do we still have the bling ones? A few of the ones. Oh, yeah, yeah yep, a few they're beautiful. With, yeah, yeah, they're all sparkly. The, yeah. bo- the body massage. The, yeah, the, uh, the handles. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Really. So it's like I, you know, I just bought I bought this in in a massage oil. So I am going to give you an amazing massage. And by the end of the night, if this super strong vibration ends up between your legs, then that's just what well, happens. You know, you know, it's just, <laughs> you know things we'll happen. Just see where it takes us. Okay. No, that's that's pretty good. So uh, you've got a purple box sitting there that I can't stand it. And I, I think I think we might be going on Facebook here to talk about <laughs> yeah, this because it's try. pretty cool. Let me get to the right page as we're yeah, talking okay, so about Yeah, okay. So Meg, we'll talk well, against here, ourselves. Talk a, here, Meg, you can talk a little bit about it, and yeah. then we'll show a picture of it. Yeah, well, I know that this is one of the toys that um, Ducky Doolittle mentioned when she was on her podcast. This is from Blush Novelties. It is their Lux line. It's the Hugs and Kisses um, Rabbit or Dual Stimulator. So, And the big thing with that is that means essentially any toy that has a shaft that can be inserted and a... mm, a various, often animal-shaped nubbin out the front for <laughs> clitoral <laughs> stimulation. They kind of generically call them rabbits. Um, this one is really cool because looking at it, I really think it could also be used as a uh, juicer, which is kind of an interesting term, but it's something where um, it's got these these ridges through it, you know, and a lot of people do that. We've carried some glass toys with this same look where you twist and turn and actually a lot of people are into the fetish where if you pull it out um you can collect a lot of the ah the fluids I see. Um, in these grooves and bumps um and it, uh, it's really cool it's got it's really pretty toy very very unique design as well we don't really have an, any other dual stimulator quite like it in the company very cool and the nice thing with lux too it's like 
simple packaging. Yep. It, it doesn't scream, you know, oh, this is for women, this is for men, this is for gay, straight, whatever. Yeah, it's it's pretty, um, I think it would make a really great gift because of oh its my kind God, of I simplicity. Found it. Are, we, are, we, did, are we in? <laughs> yeah, there's a guy um, staring at me. Oh, um, okay. yeah, they, awesome. they, they put a new um, and, uh, uh, 